state of California to say we can't and won't meet your 35 mile per gallon fuel efficiency by the year 2020. They're fighting that. Yeah, so we're challenging them to say, be the car company we know you can be. Take your name off of that suit. Be bull. Be that one that says, no, we can do it. Okay, this is the interior of the Electrum Spider, and you know it sort of has a nice little display, and you know it looks really good inside. It looks like you really just want to drive it away. Does this thing actually run, Mr. Lane? It runs, and it runs beautifully. It handles well. Acceleration's excellent, even though it is a prototype. And prototypes tend to weigh quite a bit more than their production model. What kind of batteries will eventually be in it once you get to production? Lithium ion. These are the people that helped us out down at the card meeting with uh, chargers. <laughs> Good to see. You. So, what are you it's guys a, here for? We're we're uh, Car Club San Diego. We're putting together Electric Dragon um, uh, on January 26th. There's a motorcycle that this dude here, Francois Choquet, <laughs> yeah. Quebecois, created out of his own head. Nobody else could have imagined this thing. He just designed it and constructed it. It's called uh, it the Illusion Model 54. Is that the Illusion motorcycle it started with? Well, the uh, company that uh, fab did the fabrication is Illusion Motorcycles in uh, Westminster, these guys. Illusion Cycles, okay? Oh, this is that famous guy, Rusty. I've heard of right, him. Right, right, yeah. And they, they mostly build choppers. They, they make uh, some fantastic choppers. And uh, they I, I went to three different chopper shops to, to make this project and they all kind of turned me down because I they thought it was you know just a little too crazy but uh, yeah, I think it's, it's nice. just it's wonderful nice. chrome work I and mean, it looks really yeah. professionally done yeah these guys are real professional what I particularly like is, is the display here um, you can see the gauges on here you got uh -huh. Google Maps you got a GPS uh, I think it's the, the neatest display on any motorcycle that exists it is really, uh, really a good idea. Of course, you can't pay too much attention to that. And actually, they yeah. did a really good job this, on the front uh, fairing, too. This was my... Uh, that, well, by the way, we have two uh, front cover, two fairings, okay? Uh -huh. Yeah, okay. So this is a nickel metal hydride motorcycle. Yeah. Well, I can explain it for, for the YouTube folks. Uh, this is a conversion motorcycle from uh, an Aprilia. Let me, let me get this. They're, the they're called the uh, Prismatic Plastic Case uh, Module. They're nickel metal hydride batteries. There's a hundred, well, each of them is 1300 watts. You can run a small toaster for a couple of minutes off of those, okay? But there's 112 of those in there. So so that's where most of them are. There's some more in the, in the tank here. And uh, the, uh, the advantage of uh, the nickel metal hydride, it's a well-known technology. Uh, it should last, I'm sure, 10 years because it's guaranteed for 10 years. And I expect maybe 12, 15 years out of it. Had I gone to uh, lithium, um, the battery pack would have been lighter, but the battery pack, just the battery pack itself would have been $15,000, and I would have had to replace it every three years. So on a lifetime of uh, uh, 12 years, I probably I'm going to pay about 10% of the cost than I would have with lithium. At least yeah. that's now. If five years from now we got better lithium batteries that are cheaper, um, that last a long time, then eh, maybe I'll make the switch. But right now, I, I think I'll be fine with that. So there's basically 5.2 kilowatt hours in this. Which yeah, 5.3 about... to be exact. And uh, oh, I, I'm going to uh, uh, charge them up to about 95%, and I'm going to bring them down to maybe 15, 20%. That's now. If I'm stuck somewhere, or I need I need to go a little bit further, I'm yeah, two miles yeah. from home. <clears throat> then I might bring them all the way down to zero. You know, if I have to. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you don't want to do that too often, but most of the time I'm just going to top them off. You so know? you get so about you get about four usable kilowatt hours out of this. And how many miles per kilowatt hour? Uh, that's that's difficult to tell. Um, but I, I figure, I believe it's a um, hundred uh, or 0 0.1 kilowatt hour per mile, I think. 10 miles per kilowatt hour, that's probably about right. Yeah. So you'll have at least 50, 40, 40 to 50 miles range. Well, I'm actually, okay. so, now I happen to have, uh, the motor that I picked is in between those two. I could have picked any one of those. Um, 
This is PML. The, the, yeah, PML. Yeah, yeah. This this particular motor, the the, the largest one here, is about uh, uh, it's something like a thousand foot pounds. It's just unbelievably torquey. Yeah. I picked.